Hi, my name is Steve McNally from CORE, and this is the new PA-800. You know, I've played a lot of arrangement keyboards in my life, but uh, when I sat down and played this keyboard, I, I just couldn't believe it. It sounds so good. So why? Why does it sound so good? Well, there are many reasons, things like 120 notes of polyphony, uh, huge PCM ROM, uh, RX technology, 16 oscillator program system. I, I realize this is a bunch of you know, numbers and letters and gobbledygook, and what does it mean for you as a player? Well, what it means is that you get the expression and the realism out of the sounds. For example... If I take this sound here, this guitar sound, depending on how hard I play, I get little different nuances, things like slides, little buzzes, also get the little chicks and jings and wounds and that sort of stuff that also add to the realism as well. Take this piano, for example. Sampled in stereo, um, but um, what we also did is we sampled the sympathetic ringing of the piano strings when you hold down a real damper pedal, and that sound only appears when you hold down the damper pedal. So if I play without it, it's like that, hold down the damper pedal, we've even expanded the style. So now we have intro one, intro two, intro three, ending one, two, and three, fill one, two, and three, and of course variation one, two, three, and four. So why have three intros and three endings? Well, what we do is we set up intro one so it has a chord progression inside of it, like this. It kind of sets up the mood of the style, gives you an idea of the direction of it, and is very useful for live. But you don't want to have that same intro all the time, so you can use intro two, which doesn't have a chord progression, you just give it your own chords. Intro 3 just gets things going. Ending 1, 2, and 3 work the same way, so I can just press Ending 3 and it'll stop quickly. We're now incorporating the pads inside of the style as well. Normally we use these pads to trigger sound effects like... Thank you very much. But we can also use it to trigger a sequence of notes like this. And what's great is, is that it'll actually follow the, the uh, chords that I play on the keyboard, so... You can also loop the pattern like this. You can also synchronize it with the style. And what's cool is that I've actually got the possibility of having 12 different parts inside of the style. I've got uh, the eight parts from the style itself, drums, percussion, bass, accompaniment one, two, three, four, and five, plus the possible four pad patterns as well. We also still have single touch settings, STS as we call it, allows you to have four keyboard setups ready to go with that particular style. Keyboard setup can have three sounds on the top, one sound on the bottom, and I can easily go from... As far as effects, we have two stereo effects for the style and two stereo effects for your keyboard parts. On top of that, we have three band EQ for each part inside of the style and each part inside of the keyboard setup. That means we have 12 simultaneous three band EQs. Also, we have a TC Helicon vocal processor right inside of every PA-800. I plug your microphone directly into the back and I get compression, three band EQ, reverb and delay. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can also have three part harmony. Let's add just one harmony first. Oh, mama, it's all right. Two. Oh, mama, it's all right tonight. 
free. Oh, mama, it's all right tonight. Now, what I like about the PA-800 is that it's multitasking. While a style is running, I can go over to the screen and say, okay, well, the next thing I'm going to do is actually play a standard MIDI file. And I can touch the screen, select the standard MIDI file that I want, and it's all ready to go. So I just stop the style. Now I can go to song play mode, press start, and the song is all ready to go. The PA-800 features the XDS feature, where we can actually have two standard MIDI files playing, and then I can crossfade from one to the other using this balance slider. It also has a songbook feature. A songbook is basically a programmable musical database. It's basically a list of hundreds of song titles, and when I select that song title, it'll bring up a style or a standard MIDI file or a karaoke file that I can use to perform that song. But it's much more complete than any other songbook that you've seen in any keyboard, because everything is ready to go. The, what intro I'm going to start with, what variation I'm going to go to, what the tempo is for single touch settings, keyboard setups to go, the effect setups for the, the harmonies and so on, everything is ready to go. Now you're going to get inspired by the PA-800. It has these great grooves, great sounds, and that's why we included the backing sequence feature. Backing sequence allows you to use the style to record your musical idea. You don't actually sequence the drums and the bass and the guitar and the strings and so on separately. All you do is actually record the chords you're playing and everything is recorded for you. And what's great about that is that you can go back and say, okay, well, I don't want to play that chord. I want it to be this chord and it will automatically change everything for you. You can then go and edit each one of those tracks, uh, add additional tracks. It, uh, it's just a great way for doing songwriting. Some of the other great things about the PA-800 is that it has two USB ports, one on the back and one on the front for easy access. And this allows me to take any of my changes or sampling that I've done and save it to external media, like a memory stick. Also, it has an additional USB port that I can use to connect the PA-800 to a computer. Also, I can really go in and change anything inside of the PA-800. I can change the sounds that the style may be playing, the parts that it may be playing. I can actually edit the notes and so on, and all of that can be changed and saved into another location. Also, I have assignable sliders, assignable switches, assignable pedal port, so everything can be set up how I want it to be. Now, also, Sometimes I want to see all of the parameters on the, the screen that I'm working with, and sometimes I want to just see the essentials. Well, I have the choice of choosing Easy Mode. Easy Mode just gives me the essentials on the screen so that I can use that for performance or for first getting to know the PA-800. It's a great new feature.